And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a new combo deck. We got Revitalizing Ledros. This one is a donation deck. That's what the two Ds over here mean. This is a viewer submitted deck. I did change one card from the viewer submitted list. I added in a third Babbling Beard because I think Babbling Beard is going to be really important with our combo. Our combo that we have is going to need Commander Ledros. That's going to be a really important card to get, have. And so that's why we have that's why we have Babbling Beard to draw Commander Ledros. Thankfully, Trundle, not five power. So we're not going to draw Trundle. Um, you can see our top end. We need Ledros because we're going to be trying to one turn kill them with Ledros. So we need Ledros in our hand and then Revitalizing Roar. We're going to pick Ledros, right? So then we will heal our Nexus by nine because Ledros' power is nine. And uh, then, you know, reduce its cost to zero um, if we're enlightened, right? So we're going to try to get enlightened. Play that, have Ledros cost zero. And then the next turn, play Ledros and then have for zero mana and then have atrocity back up and then be able to atrocity the ledros immediately and kill them because the ledros will do 10 damage to the, like let's say they're at 20 ledros does 10 atrocity will do nine so we basically need to just get one point of damage against them we need them to be at 19 or less we can get them to 19 with this unspeakable horror that's a really good way to do to drain one from them because <clears throat> then when they're at 19 ledros will still do 10 and then the atrocity will do the other nine. Um, or, you know, we can actually just attack with different different stuff and try to get one point of damage on them beforehand. <clears throat> so besides that, it's all defense, a little bit of ramp with Catalyst of Aeons, and that's going to be our deck. We're going to be killing them with Ledros, Revitalizing Roar, Atrocity, that uh, combo. To fit in the third Babbling Bjerg, I did take out the second Ice Quake. Um, I, you know, I... Th between like harsh winds, ice quake, I kind of felt like it was like something like that to take out, um, to get a third babbling Bjerg in here. We'll we'll see. We'll see if we really need that second ice quake instead of the Bjerg. Um, I do like ice quake. I do wish we were playing too, but obviously we have to take something out. Okay, so you're saying that a YouTuber called Control the Board uploaded a video with this deck. Cool, cool. So that's probably where this deck is from. Yeah, like I was saying, like this was. A viewer submitted deck. Viewers do submit other, you know, YouTubers and streamers decks all the time. So, you know, that's, that's a good uh, place where people get decks from. And sometimes, you know, they submit their own decks as well. Uh, let's see. You would take out one the box instead of the Ice Quake. I could definitely see that too. So we got Turn 3 Catalyst. I like that. We got Withering Whale. We'll Mulligan Atrocity. We don't need that till late. I think we're just always going to Mulligan Atrocity. I think we'll keep this unspeakable horror. I am not sure about the unspeakable horror, to be honest. But we'll keep that. That's going to be for a little bit later. That egg. <clears throat> Boys, we are All right, getting getting aggro with it. Getting real aggro with it. That'll hurt. That will hurt. I'm hoping they play something on turn three. Like maybe they play, um, I don't know. I want them to play something that dies to Avalanche on turn three. I don't know exactly what that's gonna be. I mean, I guess, even if it doesn't die to Avalanche, if we can go that, then Horror. Basically, I want them to play anything here. Play any card before attacking. Any card. Do it. Play a card. But not something with first speed. Everyone's <laughs> a well, that, that works. If y'all didn't know, these, these little uh, mathematical equations here... Uh, actually, no. I was going to do that while we had the Nightfall to put them down to 19. But actually, n not going to do that because then I wouldn't have the mana to play my ramp spell. And I want to play my ramp spell. Anyway, like I was saying, these, these are just like uh, graphs. You know, like Y equals. Those y'all remember, like high school math. Like These are just graphs. And um, they uh, make, like this first one just makes an L. This one makes an O. This one makes a V. 
and this one makes an E, and it spells love. That's pretty cool. So you can go find your graphing calculator and try that out yourself. So now we just got to find the atrocity again that we mulliganed before. I'm going to play the Avaros and Sentry to block with the Sentry. There you are. That fight. Or I'll just play Withering Will right now. How'd I figure that out? Um, I I never well. It was somebody in chat said it, but then and then I looked at him. I was I was a high school math teacher before, and so like I, I definitely know what all those graphs look like. I just I just never even really looked at these before, but yeah, that's that's what they do. Um, but I didn't I didn't really I mean I can't I can't just take credit for it and say that I knew those because I I didn't actually really look at them. Um, but just somebody in chat said that during another stream. And then I looked at him, I was like, oh yeah, that, that is what they do. That's cool. So they're at 19 life. Good number of life to be at. All that does is keep me from gaining a life. One, but two... They gain the life instead. Still get my, still get the card. Gold Doom Beast can drain. Oh, now we have Unspeakable Horror that can drain again. <clears throat> and this is why we need Vengeance. Somebody's saying cut Vengeance. No, Vengeance is good. I'm just gonna play Ledros right here. Which is how we have a second Ledros. Just gonna play one right now. There's ten damage down to nine. Down to six. We got these Doom Beasts. Oh no! They have their own Doom Beast. Foiling my plan. Lady Elise, where are you? There's Atrocity. Alright, so I could just risk it all just atrocity right now we don't really have to risk it all okay I don't think they'll have anything to kill this 9-6. Hey, what's up, Kordak? Yeah, I played your Lucian Overwhelm deck, and... Um, yeah, we had awesome record. Uh, no, we didn't do any Overwhelm combo, no. We're on fire. Got our first win here also. So 6 and 0 today. Pretty easy game for us there of just throwing our sweepers out and killing stuff. Cards really lined up. Our hand was good. Hmm.
I think the box won't be too slow. We're, we'll keep this. And honestly, maybe maybe I'm like, we'll have to play this deck more, but maybe I'm supposed to keep revitalizing Roar because we know we're already going to have the, the Babbling Fury is going to grab us Ledros, right? So like we're going to have Ledros. So maybe I'm supposed to keep revitalizing Roar to gain the life. I just don't really like, I mean, we have three of those cards. It's kind of like both that and Atrocity. I'm not sure if I really want to keep either of those in my hand. Okay, nice. You were digging, digging potatoes today. And here's where I'd paint my that is a great word. A really fun word to say. Potato. <laughs> That's just an awesome word. Um, Nothing right. escapes my watch. I would like to have Avros and Century and Unspeakable Horror like same turn kind of thing. That's new. Be able to get that Nightfall going. But this is fine. Now hopefully they play like two more units. For my the box. It's definitely the problem with the box, and maybe maybe we should be going one the box and and two ice quake. But this is the problem is that if we're if we're playing other stuff, you know, like just, if they just like spend this turn and play units, and we don't get to kill them with the box. The other units. That is. Oh, there's another Ledros. Ancient things trapped in the ice. Gonna get another Ledros out of my deck so we don't draw more Ledros. Right? Like I don't, I don't really even like drawing that Ledros. You know, we don't want to draw more Ledros. Let's get them out of our deck. They forced us to choose death or the blade. You can see the Nebastian border from here. It's a little awkward with our removal spells being the same thing. <laughs> yeah, enunciated potato. It's a fun word to say. Potato. Want to kill this before they attack and Nocturne levels up. Night flowers upon my blade. Lunari, rise. Lunari. So I'm going to be playing this Pale Cast Cage to keep my Babbling Bjerg alive, draw a card. Cool. We are looking for Atrocity, but of course they are at 20. Atrocity. So we are going to have to do more damage to them. One more damage, to be precise. Um... All right, that works pretty well. The the ramp spell. So now, next turn, we will be enlightened, and we'll be able to go revitalizing roar. Zero mana Ledros. Yeah, the box was definitely good this game. Yeah, that's true. Gotta gotta give it up to the box. <clears throat> it was good. Right. 
Cool. So they were too scared to play other stuff. We'll take four and go to ten because we're about to gain nine life. I guess we only went down to 11. Oh, right, right, because the vi our Vile Feast gained one. I know we could one turn kill, but we don't really need to one turn kill. We can just play this and attack with it. Yeah, I think that's the play. Because, I mean, if I just go and attack with this one, they definitely block with the 3 3, right? Like, they're not going to just let it go through. Just force them to block with two 3 3s. And kill both of those. Three kills. We are 2 and 0. Oh. So, yeah. Still want to kill them. Alright, more bilge water with some scouts. We're going to have Avalanche, Babbling Beard, Catalyst of Aeons. Those all sound good. I like it. Medros. Don't need any more Ledroses. We want to draw cheaper cards. Yay, cheaper card. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Batter him! Can't fight on an empty stomach. They could have, like, um, Petty Officer and then, or even Misfortune, and then just go straight to combat and attack me for a bunch. And so, like, we could take a lot of damage here. I'm, again, hoping that they do something before attacking no prey. this next no turn. Prey. But it's not likely. All right, let's mess some folks up. Cool. Doom Beast. They should have gone straight to attacks, in my opinion. But I understand playing the scout, trying to get two attacks. And and that's yeah, that's pretty valuable getting a second attack. I think I'm playing Babbling Bjerg over Doom Beast. Raise the banner. Lift our spirits. That's why I played the Vile Feast first, was because of Bannerman, by the way. But I'm gonna play the Doom Beast. Nice, Big Alfredo. You're 3-0 so far with, with the Lucian Overwhelm deck. That's great. <laughs> I don't think we're just going to go undefeated today, but I guess it's possible. You never know. What? Oh, I only have two Ledros in the deck. Right, I don't have three. Oh, I would should just say save Vengeance then. Hmm. Definitely wish I would have mulliganed the first Babbling Bjerg if I would have known that we were just going to draw both of our Ledros naturally. <clears throat> They're out there. I'll 
I'll spot him. Up there in the mountains! Call to our standard! Maybe I should have gone Vengeance. So basically, this is what I was planning on doing, was block, block, and Withering Whale. Like, that was my plan, and then, you know, like, the Withering Whale will kill those. But I didn't realize that if this is, you know, they don't have another unit. If they have just another, if they have another rally here, then I'm going to die. So maybe I should have, I guess maybe this plan of playing the Babbling Bjerg was not a good plan because of that. If I, if I block the 5-5... Five five, then we still die to another rally. So either way, we're dead to another rally. So I guess we're just dead to another rally. So we, we can just block. We can just block these. Alert the villains. Need my wood. Uh, no, it doesn't have Lucian. No, we. No, you don't need. You don't need uh, for the Lucian deck. You don't need Noxian Fervor for surprise level up. You have you have single combat. That can do that. Huh, why would they not play those first? Too much. We drew too poorly. We really need another sweeper. Just can't, you can't be draw like actually just drawing Ledros because it doesn't do anything. Alright, so I definitely like Averroes and Sentry. And I... Is Trundle too slow? Icequake too slow? No, Icequake is awesome in this matchup, so I'm going to keep Icequake. You don't have to have a one drop. First cards that seem really slow. Harsh Wind seems really slow. still see far and clear. I kind of feel that like maybe like like if you just want something to help stay alive I kind of feel like brittle steel may, may be better yeah we, we are drawing ledros we are just just drawing ledros and not the <clears throat> Harvey, come on. Stop. Safeguard our citizens. Will no one listen? Into the base. Yeah, so Battling Beer has two targets, but they're they're card that we absolutely need. Like we can't we can't win or really do anything if we just don't draw Ledros. So it's a card we really need. You gotta believe me. So their bannerman missed, so that probably means misfortune. Fortune favors the bold. Could play another two drop, but I think I just like this ice quake right here. Oh no! Uh, that's a blowout. Maybe we find withering well. Harvey. I'm actually here. That's a blowout. New recruit reporting in. Sure, just have just have more awesome stuff. Please play something before combat. I was like, I was like, what are they waiting on? No one goes hungry. So maybe we get unspeakable horror than avalanche. Obviously, another ranger's resolve, and we're dead. But I mean, I, I think I like that more than. I mean, that's. We just got a one. Is that better than harsh winds? I just hate how har how harsh winds takes my entire turn. Yeah, this is a better play. 
can obviously lose to all sorts of stuff. Okay, that's something that we lose to. So I would have lost that anyway if I would have gone to the Harsh Winds. But, so my plan, I guess my plan there was do that, then Avalanche, and then, then it would go to our turn and we'd be able to Revitalizing Roar Ledros just on our turn for the 7 mana, gain 9 life. That was a perfect Ranger's Resolve. This is the kind of hand that I like. Love Avalanche. The box is good. Love another Avalanche. Vile Feast can just help our Avalanche pair up. And it can give us a Spiderling that can block to make Avalanche better that way also. New recruit reporting in. We have Babbling Beard and not Ledros. I'm really hoping we don't draw Ledros. I think we just pass. You're covered. Eyes blazing bright as torches. Like how they're using their bright steel protectors. Where'd she go? That's good. For the glory of Demacia. So it takes out my one spiderling, but then takes out these two. Press on. Run. Ten damage. All right. We have, you know, Revitalizing Roar, Ledros. I got three cards left. And I can just pass, keep the box available. They want to play a couple of things. Um, no, we'll just play this in the box. We'll just use this to kill the 2-1. It basically costs one mana right now because if I just pass, then I'm I'm only saving two mana. Now we're now we're saving, or we're saving three mana if I would have passed. Now we're saving two. Follow my lead. And we still get to ruination, so that's good. And we should be pretty good from here. I'll just pass. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. All right, back up to sixteen. Can use harsh winds. I never if we want. It's, I guess it's possible they just have like a bunch of Relentless Pursuits and kill me, but so not very likely. That was a Fiora's repost. They 
would fall by my blade. They're out there. I'll spot them. There is the rel relentless pursuit. For the honor of <clears throat> Have that unspeakable horror kill one of the dragons, like kill the kill like the dragon. We can have vengeance kill the other. We're doing just fine. It's gonna take a little bit, but it should just be us winning this game. All right. So three and two is definitely not bad. That game four, game three kind of got ran over. Game four was pretty close where, um, you know, maybe if I would have played, maybe we could have got that one if I would have played like the Trundle on turn five instead of the Ice Quake. I was definitely happy with Ice Quake. Liked that card. It seemed to just match up really well. Like there's just so many three health units in the format. It seemed to match up really well. Um, but yeah, this deck felt really powerful. I think I think this deck has a lot of good stuff with it. This is a um, you know pretty straightforward deck of just like playing your sweepers and and killing their stuff and ramping and things like that. Um, Revitalizing roar was was impressive. I think so. Like I I think that this was a, a big upgrade to this deck from before. Um, and of course, same with just ice quake in here also. But you know, like we would. You, know, you could play like this deck before and you'd have your babbling beard but then you know you'd maybe get drained out because you'd still have a low life total towards the end of the game and just having a card that's just a gain nine and especially whenever you're enlightened it's like a gain nine that doesn't isn't really costing you mana um just but being slow speed uh, that, that really helped so yeah i liked having the revitalizing of roar in here uh but there we go there's revitalizing ledros i I, I like the Battling Beard. Battling Beard was a really good unit to just have in the mid game as like a 3 3. I think that, that was really important. I could definitely see playing just two Atrocity and then playing a second Ice Quake. I could see that. Um, because whenever you get to that point of the game, the Atrocity really isn't that important to, at winning a lot of those games. Like we were just going to be able to just keep attacking with Ledros, keep replaying Ledros, and, and be just fine. So if we want to, if you want to fit in another Ice Quake, which I guess I just don't own another Ice Quake, but that could be a spot of just playing two Atrocity. That's probably fine. Um, we never cast Trundle. We had a, that one game, like I said, on, on game four. Um, and I think I didn't play it on turn five. I played the Ice Quake, but then we got blown out by Ranger's Resolve real bad. Um, and I guess I should have played the Trundle. That could have made a big difference. Having Unspeakable Horror was a big upgrade in this deck too. This is a new card that let that just adds up with Vile Feast. You have just more things to play early, more cards that really help out Avalanche. Uh, this was a big upgrade getting Unspeakable Horror for this deck. All right, there we go. There's Revitalizing Ledros. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know what you think of the deck. Leave those comments. I love seeing those comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.